Security service of Ukraine destroyed over 1,000 Russian tanks since beginning of Russian aggression. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Russia on February the 24th, 2022, the fighters of the security service of Ukraine have eliminated 1,006 Russian tanks. It is noted that the most significant amount of enemy armored vehicles was destroyed during the fierce battles in the Donetsk and Kharkiv regions. Using heavy armored vehicles, the aggressor often tried to break through the positions of the Ukrainian defenders and provide cover for the assault groups of the occupiers. In addition, the enemy regularly engaged tank formations to carry out attacks on the fortified areas of the defense forces in Zaporizhia, the security service of Ukraine's statement notes. In order to destroy Russian armored vehicles by fire, the security service of Ukraine conducted effective combat operations together with units of the armed forces. It is indicated that the maximum arsenal of armor-piercing weapons and unmanned systems was used against enemy tanks. A large number of Russian armored vehicles were hit at the initial stages of the offensive before they went out to storm Ukrainian positions. Some of the tanks were destroyed along with their crews, says the security service of Ukraine. Recently, Ukrainian paratroopers repelled a Russian armored attack near Novoselivsky in the Luhansk region. The 77th Separate Air Mobile Brigade said the Russian invaders were trying to break through the defense line. Tanks, IFVs, armored personnel carriers and tanks with grills were advancing, but all in vain. The paratroopers were relentless in their destruction, remarked the paratroopers. For the recent assault, the Russian command used T-90A, T-72B-3 and T-72B tanks, which were equipped with protective grills. However, the Ukrainian military managed to stop the invaders and destroy these tanks. To stop the tanks, various means were used. Then the tanks were finished off with the help of attack drones. It is located on the outskirts of the Luhansk region, near the border with the Kharkiv region. The nearest large settlement nearby is Svatov, which is less than 15 kilometers away. All residents have left the village and there are no more living conditions there. All the houses in the settlements were completely destroyed. The Russian Federation has actually admitted that Ukraine shot down their A-50 aircraft in February 2024, according to the Russian Investigative Committee. According to Russia, the committee chose a preventive measure against Ukrainian Colonel Mykola Zyaman. It was he who allegedly ordered the destruction of the Russian A-50 aircraft. According to the Russians, the A-50 was allegedly not intended for combat operations and was not armed. The A-50 was flying in the airspace of the Russian Federation. Zyaman allegedly gave an illegal order to shoot down the plane, which, according to the Russian Investigative Committee, killed 10 crew members. The Ukrainian was charged in absentia with the terrorist attack and put on the federal wanted list. The A-50 is a long-range radar detection and control aircraft that Russia uses to direct attacks by its strike aircraft and to detect Ukrainian aircraft in the sky. On February 23 this year, the Ukrainian military shot down a Russian A-50 aircraft over the Sea of Azov. At the time, a number of videos of the downing began to circulate online, and RBC Ukraine sources said that it was a joint operation of the Air Force and the Defense Intelligence. In addition, on January 14 of the same year, the Ukrainian armed forces shot down a Russian A-50 over the Sea of Azov and hit an IL-22. On January 15, the destruction of the two planes was officially confirmed by the former Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Valery Zaluznyi. The A-50 was damaged for the first time on February 26, 2023, at the Machalishi airfield, where explosions were heard. Later, it was reported that the airfield had been attacked, targeting a Russian A-50 reconnaissance aircraft.